My name is Scott Weatherby. I'm the director of athletics, and uh, being a Weatherby, it was my job to make sure that the weather was good. I think we did all right. What a, isn't this beautiful? It's awesome. Um, today's a great day for our university, our athletics department, our coaches, our student athletes who are up here in our golf programs. Uh, appreciate everybody coming out uh, and being a part of this historic day with us. Um, I just didn't think this day was ever going to make it. We got this approval almost three years ago, and with COVID and everything else going on, it's taken uh, a little bit longer than we anticipated. But the Game Above Golf Performance Center uh, will reside right where we're sitting here today. Uh, it's going to be a tremendous facility. It's going to be the nicest indoor center in the state, in this region, and in the Mid-American Conference. Um, I have some stats for you of what this is going to look like, and you can see the renderings. 13,000 square feet. It's going to be two levels. Where we're actually, where I'm standing is going to be the, 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 where the putting chipping area will be. Where you guys are standing will actually be the second story where the lounge will be looking out over 18 and over Ford Lake. Uh, so you can try to visualize that off of the images. So we have 5,000 square feet uh, practice area with uh, artificial turf chipping and putting area. We have two hitting bays uh, that you can kind of see here. Um, we have a student lounge uh, space. They were already arguing over ping pong table versus foosball. Um, they're going to have a showcase as you walk in uh, with all the different accomplishments. Uh, the locker rooms will be uh, down uh, downstairs as well. And they're going to have a club repair and a conference room and just real excited. And another note is um, the university has also agreed to piggyback with this. And if you can kind of see the uh, first um, rendering, on the right-hand side, we're adding four simulators that will extend out from the clubhouse. And then there will be a plaza in between the addition and then our um, facility that we're building here. And that's going to be a 2,700 square foot addition with four hitting bays uh, that will allow Wes and his crew to, as leagues finish up in October, they can move inside and play in the simulator, or um, others can rent out the simulators like a Top Golf type of setup. So we're we're excited about that uh, as well. Um, I'm going to do a lot of thank yous, and um, I'm going to kind of MC and try to get us through this uh, without being too too long. But there are a lot of people we want to make sure we we do thank. Um, I first want to thank all of our our student athletes, our golfers here. Uh, they've hung in. We've been telling them for really four years now that we're going to be getting there and, and we're going to be doing this, and then finally uh, they get to see it. Uh, so I want to thank them. And uh, they, they have been so good on the course and in the classroom, and they make us really proud. So let's give a round of applause for our student athletes here. Um, so today wouldn't even be possible if it weren't for the transformational gift from Game Above. Uh, they, have, they have a love and passion for this university and our golf programs. In the summer and fall of uh, 2019, uh, Keith Stone and, and members of Game Above uh, asked if I'd go visit other golf facilities. And so we hopped on a plane and we went and looked at three or four different other golf facilities and they came back telling me that they want to have a world-class facility for our golf program and they want to do it and do it now. And uh, with that, they stepped up and gave the largest gift in the university's history with a commitment of $8 million for this Game Above Golf Performance Center. Um, and I think we should give them a big round of applause, right? Um, we have a number of Game Above members uh, in attendance, so I want to make sure uh, they kind of raise their hand. I know Khalid's here, Earl's here, um, Jack's here. You got to see the big guy, Iceman George Garvin's here today. Um, and so all of those Game Above members, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, just a ton of gratitude. Uh, and they press us. They push us to want to be better and get better. And, and um, so with that, I'd like to have Khalid um, come up on behalf of Game Above and just say a few words. So Khalid. 
Let's give it up for Cleed. All right. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, first, I want to say thank you for coming out and um, experiencing this, this groundbreaking um, for the new Game Above Golf Performance Center. As you all know that Game Above, our mission is to provide uh, sustainable success and solutions for university. It's just not about the big check or anything like that. Our goal is to help student athletes and students on the academic side as well, perform in the classroom, on the field, and be successful. And more importantly, graduate as well. So with this new Game of Up Performance Center, we really want to create something special. Golf is very near to our chairman, Keith Stone. Um, and when he came up with this idea, uh, as Scott said, we pushed him. We pushed him very hard to get something done and get something going. And it couldn't have been done or planned at a better course. It's one of the best courses in Michigan. And we're honored to be associated with the university. And we're honored to be associated with Stephanie Jennings, the women's head golf coach, and Bruce Cunningham, the men's head golf coach. And also with all of the EMU athletic department. So I owe a huge appreciation to President Smith, all of the regents and everyone involved at the university and everyone involved with Game Above because together we're making a big impact. We're making a big change in the university or at the university, but also with the greater community in Ypsilanti as well. So thank you and congratulations to the student athletes and also to the future student athletes for years to come. Awesome, thank you, Khalid, appreciate it. Um, you know, next I'd like to thank our Board of Regents uh, for all their support. Uh, they approved this project uh, almost three years ago now. They have to make a lot of difficult decisions, um, and they always try to keep our student athletes and our students in mind when making those decisions. Um, and so, one, let's give it a round of applause for our, our Regents, and then I know uh, re uh, Chairwoman Jeffries is going to introduce them as well. But So Eunice, I'll have you come up and speak on behalf of our Board of Regents. So, Regent Jeffries. Well, good afternoon. Happy homecoming. I'm trying to get it together here. I'm Eunice Jeffries. I'm chair of the Board of Regents here at Eastern Michigan University. And what does that mean? That means that I work for you. I work for all of you, our alumni, our our administration and our leaders here on our campuses. And so I'm joined today with two of my colleagues, Regent Chad Newton and Regent Nathan Ford. Could you please stand and be recognized? <laughs> We're also joined here today by an emeritus regent. And when I say his name, you're gonna say, why does that sound familiar? And I'm gonna tell you why in just a minute. Regent uh, Roy Wilbanks, thank you. Please stand to be recognized. <laughs> okay. Note to self, current regents don't tell former regents what to do. Thank you, sir. <laughs> So like I said, um, there's a reason why his name might sound familiar. And if you turn around, you'll see because his name is, is on the building. He's been a leader um, here at this institution in so many capacities. And we just thank you so much. And it means a lot that you're here with us today. So thank you. I'm gonna make this quick as I was as I was instructed to do, but I was thinking, I was looking at our student athletes today. It might seem like, yeah, we have to be here. How much longer is homecoming weekend? I get that, but I promise you, in 20 years, you're gonna come back on this campus for homecoming, for a reunion, and you're gonna tell your kids and your family, I was there when they built that building, and they're gonna roll their eyes. So this is a very special day, and it's a special day for you. you you'll see. You're gonna, you're gonna say, you're gonna like, no, here's the picture when I was there. And no, no one's gonna care, but you're, it's gonna mean something to you. So thank you. Okay, so I know that I kind of got off, 
off course here a little bit. I think I did all that I was supposed to to do. Um, if we said thank you to Game Above 20 more times in a day, it wouldn't be enough. It wouldn't be enough for the investments, for the patience, for um, you say pushing, but we say uh, stretching. There's never anything wrong with the stretch goal. You make us better and you make, you make you know, um, tangible investments in our university. So, like I said, if I said it 12 more times in eight different languages, it still wouldn't be enough to convey our appreciation. So, having said that, welcome. I know as, as many more people to speak after me, and I stand between you and getting on the highway. So, thank you so much. Thank you, Regent Jeffries. And getting on the highway is not easy now from here, too. So, just, just a heads up. Um, thank you, Regent Jeffries. Again, thank you to the Regents for your support of our athletics program. Um, I'd also like to uh, mention Regent Emeritus Roy Wilbanks as well. And I know Eunice mentioned Roy. And, um, you know, we really wouldn't be standing here and have this golf course if it weren't for Mr. Wilbanks. And that's why his name is on that. And, um, it, this place is beautiful and I'm glad you had the vision and and the and got the rallied the troops to make it so this is our home course and we do have um, what I consider especially once this thing gets done you're gonna have the best home course in the state of Michigan with the best indoor facilities in the state of Michigan and within the region so thank you appreciate that All right, who's my next thank you here? All right, over the past two years, yes, over two years, we've been working with architects from uh, Progressive A&E on all the design work for the facilities. They helped put these together for us. Um, I'd like to recognize uh, Melissa and Michael from Progressive A&E, and thank you for being here. <laughs> Um, we also have worked with Seth, Chad, and Todd, who couldn't be here tonight, um, but uh, they put a ton of hours into this, and they've been great to work with and just really appreciate uh, their effort. Uh, alongside them, uh, we've also been working with Granger, who is our construction manager uh, on this job, and I believe uh, we have a handful of them kind of hiding in the back, but we've got Paul and Chris. Lorraine, Dylan, and Kyle, and I don't do last names because I butcher it. So thank you, uh, and Granger. Um, and then in all of those meetings that we have, which most of them have been on Zoom, I want to say this might be the first time we've all been together on the site, which is mind-blowing. Um, but uh, to work alongside them is our facilities crew and our physical plant, and uh, they've done a great job. So I want to personally thank Scott Storer, who is here. Scott is, does a phenomenal job, and Dieter uh, is next to him as well. Uh, but I also have to mention, uh, mention Sean Braden, um, and then we call her the one and only Kay Sakarik. Uh, Kay is awesome to work with and uh, does a great job for us as well from our facilities. So I appreciate uh, that group. And also Wes Blevins, who's out here, and Wes is back in the back, and his team, phenomenal job. This course is in great shape. You guys do so much work, and it's been great to team up with you, and I'm really glad we were able to get those simulators and upgrade that kitchen so we can uh, do even more here. So let's give it up for uh, that whole group, and I appreciate uh, everybody there. All right, now I'm going to turn it over to our coaches to say a few words. Uh, Bruce Cunningham, is this season 30 or 29? Does it? 94 was year one, so you're 29. 29th season, so Greg, you were right. I was wrong. Um, and then Stephanie's fifth year. So I was uh, proud enough to be able to hire Stephanie a former Eagle herself and played here. Um, but Bruce was here and he's put up with me, so, and he's still sticking around with us. So let's have uh, Bruce and Stephanie come up and say a few words. Age before beauty or, or your coach, right? So okay. here we go. Yeah, thank you, Scott. And a special thank you to President and Dr. Smith for being here and Board of Regents and obviously the, the, uh, anybody that was a director uh, with the game above, and then obviously Progressive and Granger as well. 
Also need to thank, uh, there was Jeff Bourdone and Keith Stone, Heather Stone. They've been instrumental with me in, for a while, but I want to definitely thank Jeff has been a great advisor on this project uh, for both Stephanie and I. And uh, he knows a lot more than it, just the ins and outs. And then also the physical plant has just been a wealth of information. Uh, I need to start though, as Scott said, so April of 94, but uh, Mayor, uh, Regent Emeritus Roy Wilbanks hired me along with Roy, uh, wrong with uh, Tom Pendleberry, Marcia Harrison, and President Shelton. And it has completely changed my life. They've, it's my dream job and it's amazing how this project has evolved. And for those need to know, so Roy's vision started in 1984. I mean, the project might have started in 1987. The first time we started was 1989. And I was the first PGA professional here. So when I started, I was the men's golf coach, the head golf professional. And that evolved into both the men's golf coach, head golf professional, and the women's golf coach. And I was fortunate to be Coach Stephanie's coach for two years. And I'm so proud. She's an amazing wife, amazing mother of three. And I couldn't, you know, to have someone who played at this program be at the helm. And she's such a great mentor and great coach to all the women athletes. Uh, but both of us are extremely blessed. We have a great synergy and great um, working environment here. But I have to thank Roy for... It's amazing how this project keeps evolving because he was responsible for both the hotel, the corporate edu education center, the golf course, and the amount of people it's impacted in this region is simply incredible. Uh, the Game Above Performance Center, it's a testament to our former players, to all the success we've, we've had on the men's side. And our women's program, I'm sure Stephanie will tell you, in 1996, uh, she was the number one draft choice of Coach Iris, so she was the first to commit, and it's only fitting that she's now our women's golf coach. Also need to thank, before I forget, Wes Blevins is such a great a force here, and he, he and his staff do everything they can and bend over backwards, make everything possible for our student athletes. We are fortunate to win three MAC championships, have six regional NCAA regional appearances, and it one NCAA appearance. And it's because of that success. Uh, there's some people that, look, Division One golf keeps evolving. Every time it has evolved, we have evolved with it and we have stayed current. Uh, the landscape continues to change. But I have to thank Keith and Heather Stone, Keith's father, Bob, who's not with us anymore. Those three along with Robert Oliver, Jim Nelson, and Fred Mahoney, for sure, have been an incredible force, along with Mr. Jim Applegate, who our endowment's named after. And they have helped us, shepherd us through every change and every course that Division I golf has taken. To all the former athletes that believed in Eastern Michigan, believed either in both myself or Stephanie, but I know on the men's side, we've had some incredible players, all conference, all region, uh, individual NCAA pr performers, and obviously got us to our MAC championships and our NCAA bids. We have big goals, we have big expectations. The Game Above Performance Center, it's gonna push us really hard. Um, it's gonna help with recruiting, and we have some great student athletes up here and we're going to have to continue to, this will bring in national, international ranked players that want to be the very, very best. Last year, you know, with COVID, I think as Scott said, this project a little bit delayed. And in with that, we also graduated five players last year and three took advantage of their COVID fifth year. And with that, created quite a vacuum, and we have six freshmen. 
it's the biggest uh, influx of freshmen, I guess, since even Coach Sadinsky over here came in. And his group provided us a 2019 MAC championship. We were not able to compete in 2020 and try to repeat like we did in 2007, 2008. And Zach was a force on that team and a great leader. He was our captain. But what I want to say is that the freshmen that came in, we are in good hands. I mean, this performance center is going to allow them to achieve every goal that they want to achieve. And we have high expectations. But what I need to say is that COVID interrupted their junior and senior year in high school. And it was amazing through their parents and through themselves that they work so hard. They're so passionate about golf and about competitive golf. They got through that process and they were good enough to be nationally and internationally ranked. And we provided an opportunity and they are going to hopefully, just like Coach Suds, provide us a MAC championship during their four or five year career. Uh, and then last, the all the former athletes, this is because of you, all the success we've had, this, this project keeps evolving, this complex keeps evolving, all for the better. And uh, Roy Wilbanks, again, you believed in me, and it's just amazing what it's all turned out to be. And we're sitting on such a beautiful site. It's simply gonna be amazing when this is uh, all finished. So just wanna thank everyone for coming and I'm gonna turn this over, but I first have to, before I forget, Dan McLean is back here. He's our, our sports administrator and does a wonderful job. And Scott Weatherby, you know, he's the best athletic director that I've worked for, and I've worked for a fair amount for a lot. And Scott is, he shepherds us through a, a dark period, meaning COVID, and he gets his arms around everybody, and he's so positive. And these are the types of things that come out when you have positive leadership. So thank you, Scott. Here's Stephanie. You can see who the prepared one is with his notes. So thank you, Coach. Obviously, I call him Coach. He calls me Steph. So, um, but again, like you said, Regent Jeffries, there's not enough thank yous in a day to thank everyone involved. Um, I am a member of the Game Above, and I, we are so fortunate to have an opportunity like this uh, to, to see new things happen here on campus. We saw the College of Engineering happen. We saw during COVID what Game Above did with the community in Ypsilanti. And, it, it just is amazing as an alum of Eastern Michigan, as a former player for the women's golf team, what has been accomplished here in Ypsilanti and here at the golf course. And like uh, Coach Bruce said, Wes, and then Joel, thank you so much for taking care of this golf course. Uh, Joel Kraus is our superintendent, and I don't think him and his staff get thanked enough. Uh, the greens are fast. We're excited about our tournament. It's Monday and Tuesday, so we're really excited about the tournament. But again, going back, Regent Jeffries, when you said this is a moment that our athletes will remember, right? And, and these girls probably get tired of me saying, well, when I played here, <laughs> and all the different things that we didn't have, and now they can experience this. And every girl on my team, they're going to be here for when this is finished. And I'm so excited that they're going to be able to experience that. And all of our alums will be able to come back and, and see the progress that this, um, this team and this program is making because as many of you follow women's golf in the MAC, there is one team that we need to beat, okay? And I feel we have the ability to make that happen on our team. I've seen these girls shoot under par. I've seen it happen, so we wanna, we really wanna do it. We wanna win the MAC. We do have an individual who's won the MAC in the past, and Sarah Johnson, so we do claim to that. And I think, Greg, if you correct me, we have the sec, or the most, second place finishes <laughs> in the max so we want that to be a first place finish so as an alum like i said and a, a former golfer i just it's you know making me tear up sometimes when i think of all the things that are happening here and uh again regent wilbanks it's so good that you're a part of this and and here be, being here and supporting all of the things we do uh with with our golf facilities so um I don't want to talk as long as Coach Bruce because he's got the history here. So he said a lot of great things. But thank you again, and I'll pass it back to Scott. Thank you.
Great coaches uh, love what they're doing with our programs, and uh, they know the bar is being set higher now in our student athletes with having this opportunity as well. Um, you know, one person I haven't gotten to yet, and typically you kind of start with them, but I'm going to finish with him is is President Smith, and and I want to thank him and his staff for giving me the opportunity. It's been crazy. It's been five years now. We're coming in uh, my sixth fall here. And uh, just want to thank you for supporting this project and many others. I mean, the last, uh, you've been here six years now and you're going on your seventh year. If you go on campus and what we've done the last seven years, it's been incredible. And I know we've done a lot of work on athletics, but it doesn't get done if the president doesn't support it and he's not on board with it. And so, you know, with, without uh, the board's leadership and uh, your your leadership, we wouldn't be having this groundbreaking. So um, with that, President Smith, I'd like for you to come up and say a few words and uh, let's give it up for uh, Dr. James Smith. I took my tie off and I put a kerchief in because I knew damn well Scott wouldn't wear a tie today. First of all, Coach Bruce, um, I don't know where this positive stuff's coming from. I have these one-on-one -on -one meetings with him and all he does is tell me he's broke. He needs more money. He needs more support. Students need more things. Um, is that positive? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, he is a tremendous advocate, and I think all of you know that um, this is a great vision. And and uh, I know Khalid's here, and you know Jeff Bourdon and Sun Chow, and the the Game Above group. I see several of you here. Uh, it is tremendous support to make something like this happen. And uh, as Chair Jeffrey said, and as Coach Stephanie said. You know, I can do a thousand thank yous and it won't be enough. It's just phenomenal what we're going to be able to do on this land. And if you don't think there's a better view in Washtenaw County, you're not looking from where I'm standing. I mean, this is just one of the most gorgeous views. Regent Ford says it's because I drink beer out on that little porch, and that may be true too, but I will say it is an absolute gorgeous view. And, uh, you know, great thanks to everyone who's taken the care to make the course look as it does. I am to thank a few people, and I will do it quickly. Obviously, we thank the regents and the emeritus regents that, that are here, but I would be remiss not to thank some recipients that are going to enjoy what's going to be built here. Mayor Lois Richardson, uh, Mayor Richardson's ending her term, but she's been very dedicated into seeing that we do things with kids here. And uh, I don't believe Lois is able to make it today, but she said to me many times, you know, let's remember that the young people that have the talent can help some students that might never get on a course. And we look forward to seeing that happen. Township Superintendent, or Supervisor Brenda Stumbo, I don't believe Brenda's here. Uh, Brenda, make sure that I don't ever take down a tree here. So some of you may know I've uh, been publicly castigated for uh, we plant two for every one we take down but uh, sometimes uh, Brenda and I have a little go around about that and then the county commissioners and I know they can't be here their notes so several of them sent notes to me today Jim I work for a living I guess that's saying that I don't work for a living and uh, being here is uh, is is hard for them but the county commissioners have always been good to uh, work with us work with the township and really allow uh, this facility to come forward as it's going to and as it is now. These folks represent a combined GPA of 3.3. Think about all the time they spend playing golf, uh, practicing golf, and being on the road, and um, they're still able to get a 3.3 GPA. So please join me in applauding the men and women who are here. Great work. A.D. Weatherby told me 3.5 is uh, attainable by now in December, so set the bar a little higher. Uh, four of the men were recognized uh, in the summer for uh, academic honors. Five of the women. Two of the women were recognized as academic All-Americans. So, again, a round of applause for really hard work, both here and in the classroom. If you notice, I have a really big binder here. It's because I have a 28-point font. It's, uh, it's not all that much longer. Uh, Coach Bruce at 29 years, Coach Stephanie at five years. Coach Stephanie will be happy to have you for 24 more. Uh, we, we look forward to what both of you are going to be able to do with, with fabulous young women and young men. But the most important thing I believe on a day like today is to think about the shoulders that we all stand on. Shirley Spork 
came to my mind when I thought about this today. Shirley died just months ago at age 94, lived a fabulous life, was inducted in our E-Club uh, Hall of Fame in 1981, was one of 13 founders of the LPGA in 1950. 23 years before gender equity was even thought of in America, Shirley was a student athlete here at Michigan State Normal School. She continued to coach until her early 90s. And I had the pleasure, along with Connie and others, when Coach Stephanie brought Shirley here to, to see uh, greatness in action. She was a graceful woman. She was a woman who cared, cared about Eastern, cared about our students. And I think as we all think about people like that, that really were the trailblazers for who we are and what we want to be and how we want to develop as, as scholar athletes, as professionals, as old university presidents. We all need models, and someone like Shirley is truly that model. The last thing, again, we can't say it more than a thousand times, uh, without Game Above, without a dedicated group of people who really believe in the dream, we wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have had a chance to meet George Gervin if it wasn't for Game Above. And uh, we all know George's name looks pretty darn good on that building. I see it every night, George. I see it every night. And that, that silhouette looks just like you today. I want you to know that. Uh, just identical. To have people like that come back, as George has come back, as many have come back, to, to celebrate Eastern is really an honor. And uh, I know I speak for the three regents that are here in the front row. Uh, we're honored by you honoring us. And, and we, don't, we don't forget that, and we don't take it lightly. And the last thing, Regent Jeffries, you're absolutely right. When you all are in your 40s and 50s, yet people are going to roll their eyes and say, oh, this didn't matter. This didn't, you know, that's, that's what happens. It does matter. It is significant. It's fun. Get pictures. If nothing else, you can show them yourself. You know, hey, I look pretty good at that age. So thank you all. I believe I stand between the world and shovels. Is that right, Scott? So I will turn this back over to you, and some of us are going to throw a little dirt. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So with that, I will plug. Um, we have the Shirley Spork Invitational on Monday and Tuesday. So if you want to come out, and uh, see our ladies perform uh, and compete um, Monday and Tuesday, right? Yep, so we'll uh, have that right out here. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming, uh, and this is a special occasion. What I really look forward to is, all right, Granger, Chris and crew, 13 months, 14 months, next fall, late next fall, we're, we're breaking ground, or we're, grand opening and having a ribbon cutting and having even more people and actually giving tours and going through and and seeing it all and uh and and actually see it happen here um so what i'd like to do now is we're going to kind of move some of this stuff out of the way i'd like to have everybody that spoke um along with our regents come up i've got some hard hats and we got some shovels and we're going to do some ceremonial uh pictures and get this thing kicked off and uh, again, I want to thank everybody, and we look forward to seeing everybody at homecoming tomorrow, 2 p.m. kick. And uh, thank you again. Go Eagles. Yep, so just go straight forward on that. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Let's do another straw. Alright. Yeah. 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 One. Ready? One, two.